Ever since the days of Tetris on the Game Boy, Nintendo consoles and puzzle games have gone together like a red capsule and another red capsule in Dr. Mario's surgery. We've seen the big end themselves throw their IP at different types of puzzle games with so many fantastic franchises born out of these over the years. Incoming to the Switch is the puzzle platformer Treasure Stack, a title that pays homage to the greatest of the puzzle pile while trying to open a whole new chest of ideas. While it takes from a few titles, the main influence on display is the NES classic Warrior's Woods. Like that title, you control a character in the playing field, who has to match blocks by scrambling over them. The differences start when you're pulling falling blocks towards you with a grappling hook, to then place matching colours of chests to their corresponding key and bust free the treasure hidden within. Treasure Stack manages to pull from its inspiration, but still feels quick enough to play like a 2019 video game with the movement of your character feeling fluid and tight so any mistakes made are your own to deal with. The chain forming style of gameplay here gets complicated quickly, with combos able to be built up by preparing chests so they fall onto their colour coded key to stack up even more points. In solo mode, you're facing the adversity of an occasional drop of junk blocks. That can be blocked if you chain enough combos in time, but in verses, Building combos stacks these junk blocks against your opponent, so it soon adds up to play tactically and deliver a painful drop when they least need it. Speaking of solo, there is a mode for single players on offer here, but it's ultimately rather shallow. The only option you have is an endless mode pitting you against your own skills to try and survive as long as you can. This mode also happens to be the only way you can unlock the game's expansive list of playable characters and grapples. Based on different pop culture references and some really fun nods to other films and games, these unlockable extras are a huge injection of personality into the game, and are a blast to unlock, but having them tied behind a single repetitive mode is a real shame. Different modes would have been a great reason to dip in and play the odd game to unlock items, but as it is, it's still enjoyable, but in short bursts. Bulking up the menu options is local and online multiplayer, which both add another blast of excitement to this title. The particular brand of frantic puzzle play on offer here is easy to pick up and understand, so getting friends to play with you is pretty good but mastering it is going to take time. This is where online came in for me. I only managed a couple of games as I was playing pre-release, but I only assume I got pitted against one of the developers as I got royally destroyed. However, that pressure to quickly plan and execute combos to build up junk for my opponent, as well as bring up the score, was by far the most fun I had with the game. We look forward to the general release to test skills against others and take part in upcoming tournaments as well. As mentioned earlier, the available costumes and grapple hooks add a lot of personality to the game, as does the distinctive pixel art style the developers have gone for. Chibi versions of recognisable heroes and mythical creatures are fun to unlock and play with, as are the grapples, and certainly help to reward your time spent as well as incentivise you to get better, so you can gain a level to unlock even more. Playing online, I found myself looking at my opponent's equipped items as well and wanted to push even further so I could have a chance of unlocking the same. Now, Treasure Stack absolutely has game feel locked down, but a couple of key drawbacks are stopping it from unlocking its potential. Despite the game taking place almost entirely in a thin vertical rectangle during matches, there is no tape mode option on Switch, which feels like a glaring omission. Also of note is a lack of colorblind options to help distinguish between chests for people who will struggle. A simple palette swap to different items would be an easy solution to this. The single music track played during matches quickly grated on me as well, and certainly didn't reach the lofty heights of the Tetris theme, which I still think is a bob after 30 years. Finally, as mentioned, the lack of variety in modes is really frustrating, as is the fact that as far as we can tell, online play doesn't carry over experience like single player to help with unlocking items. There is so much fun stuff to unlock and play with, so having a single mode that quickly runs dry being the only way to access this is a real shame. Some sort of challenge missions or adventure mode would have been a fantastic way to further play with the charming personality of this game, and better showcase the impeccable puzzle game that has been crafted. Make no mistake, Treasure Stack is a true jewel of a puzzle game with charm pouring out of every moment. It's nailed game feel perfectly and the cast of ridiculous unlockables are icing on the cake. I just wish that cake wasn't all the same flavour, as it got a bit sickly by the end. 4 out of 5 stars. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, check out some of our other videos, and visit the NintendoVillage.com, your home for everything Nintendo.